Once you've got your slides created, the next step of the exercise is to actually record yourself over the slides. And so this particular step is one that I can't recreate completely faithfully because I can't record myself recording a slide with Camtasia recording both. So uh, I will just talk you through the process so that you're aware of it. Now, there are lots of different ways you can record your slides using Camtasia. And uh, I'm gonna show you the way that I prefer. Um, and to do this, uh, what I usually do is I usually have the slideshow play in a window that I can control. When I start up Camtasia, it allows me to identify the region that I'm gonna capture. Now, I can't do that when it's running. Uh, but I usually use a standard region, maybe 1280 by 720, which is also known as 720p for those of you who have TVs. And when I select that, what's going to happen is Camtasia is going to put a rectangle here, which represents that size. And on the Microsoft Surface tablet, you actually have a huge screen in terms of resolution. So uh, that slide gives you plenty of room to have stuff uh, on your screen that's not going to appear online. What you can then do is there's a crosshair in the middle that allows you to drag that rectangle uh, to wherever you want on the screen. The next thing I do is I go over to Slideshow and I set up Slideshow to uh, browse in an individual window. Uh, so I click OK here. And now when I do a Slideshow, what will happen is it'll open up a window for that Slideshow instead of covering the whole screen. So I can do that here. I'll minimize the window. And uh, so now we've got an actual slideshow presenting. Uh, oops, uh, Camtasia <laughs> came down. But it only appears within this window. Uh, so what I can do is I can size the window to exactly the size of the Camtasia rectangle. Uh, everything else around the rectangle will be dimmed on your screen. And that will allow me to uh, record as, it, as if it were the whole screen, but still see what's going on in Camtasia. So I would record the slides uh, at one by one. And after I'd done each slide, for example, in this slide, I would say, hi, this is Grandin Gill. Uh, this is my brief biography. First, I'm going to talk a little bit about my uh, interests, and uh, then I'm going to talk a little about my background. Actually, I got that backwards. So, this is why you do one at a time. So, I'd go back and I'd say, all right, let's do this again. Hi, I'm Grandin Gill. I'm going to talk a little bit about my background. Then I'll talk about my interests. And uh, then, when I'm done recording for that slide, I press the stop button. And what will happen is it will create a stop. And uh, I would then give that file a name, like bio02, or bio01 in the case of the first slide. And then I would move on to the next slide. So when I'm done with this, I'll have three separate slides. Now, I can't really show you that. But what I can do is I can click on this presentation. It'll move me to the next page. And since I animated that page, I can now you know, say, OK, my background, my education is Harvard undergrad. I have an HBS, MBA, and DBA. Uh, my current position, I'm a faculty member in the Information Systems and Decision Sciences area. I'm a governor of the Informing Science Institute. And as you may be aware, I'm the academic director of the new DBA program being launched by the Moomer College of Business. Uh, my past experience includes uh, five years in the Navy as a nuclear submarine officer, where I was the reactor controls officer and communicator on a submarine. And I am also uh, was a consultant in the agribusiness area and an entrepreneur in that area for about five years. Uh, personally, I, my wife is Claire Gill. We just celebrated our 25th wedding anniversary. My sons are Tommy, who's a senior at William & Mary, and Jonathan, who's a freshman here at USF. And uh, in the distant past, my hobby was songwriting, completely unpublished, I might add. I would then press stop, save that, and then I would go on to the next slide. Uh, 
which is why am I teaching the program. You'll have a slightly different slide, like why am I taking the program. And I would go through the same process here. Uh, uh, I click on it. Now notice this one, I've got graphics. So some of the topics that I'm most interested in are informing science and case writing. Uh, I apply a variety of research methods, but my two favorite research methods are case method and uh, simulation. And finally, uh, my goals for the program are to make it through this semester alive uh, without being universally hated, and uh, hopefully for the cohort we're going to see everybody get really engaged. Uh, and at this point I would uh, press stop, save, and uh, I would be, now I would have three separate files. And it's a good idea to get used to numbering your files sequentially because the next th thing we're going to look at is putting them all together.